Chapter 10 In the fall of 1949, Zamp and Cynthia entertained some friends. I see the evangelist, Billy Graham, is putting up a big tent downtown for his Bible meetings. I could never understand the Bible. Only when the Spirit of God comes into your heart can you understand. Yeah, I suppose so. After the couple leaves... I've heard about this evangelist. I'd like to go to one of his meetings. Absolutely no, Cynthia. I won't permit it. When Zamp gets home the next evening... You're so excited and happy. What, what's happened? I went to hear Billy Graham. Zamp, it was wonderful. I accepted Christ as my Savior, and for the first time in my life, I'm really happy. Well, I don't want to be preached to. I don't like it. But you would like Billy Graham. He tells many interesting facts about science that can be found in the Bible. Science? The mention of science interests Zamp. By the next night, Zamp agrees to go to a meeting, but just once. In spite of himself, Zamp returns night after night. The evangelist's words seem to be directed right at him. He listens with growing interest. For what shall it profit a man? if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You may not think you can lead a Christian life, but Christ will help you. Zamp struggles with his conscience until the impact of Billy Graham's words finally hits him. On the last day of the crusade, Zamp truly commits himself to God for the first time in his life. Forgive me for the promises I never kept, O oh God. Zamp finds that accepting Christ as his Savior makes him happier than he's ever been, but he soon learns that Christianity demands more than just acceptance. What's wrong, Zamp? You were so happy for a while. Lately, you're worried and unhappy. I still haven't found a job, and today I had to sell the car. I don't know what to do next. On the life raft and in the prison camp, Zamp asked God to change his circumstances. This time, Zamp asks God to change him, and his life is truly different. Will Zamp find his purpose now? Tune in next time for Chapter 11 of the Louis Zamparini Story.